our big bad BIM tick of the week. And um, this is sponsored by Enscape. Uh, so uh, let me let the, the role play here. It was, it was a little delayed for some reason on me. Sorry, guys. So our big bad BIM tip of the week is sponsored by Enscape. Um, the, the tip this week is actually from someone who's on the live chat um, and someone many of you may know. His name is Jim Balding. And, uh, and I was excited to share your tip, Jim. Thanks for sending it in. Jim, instead of just emailing me, he actually screen recorded, I think it was four tips. Um, so I'm gonna let one play. Uh, I chose one of the four. Sorry, Jim, I didn't wanna take eight or nine minutes of the time here. But uh, I'm gonna play his tip, and then, uh, and then we'll come back to Paul's stuff. So thanks, Jim, and uh, let's let it roll. Uh, good morning, Mr. The Kid. Jim Balding here, and you asked for some badass tips, and... Uh, I don't know if this is badass, but it's one that I did actually yesterday, and it replicates something I've been doing for 30 years, and that's uh, checklists. Uh, normally, I do an Excel, and I have, you know, in, in this case, a list of all the rooms in that uh, in this house, and I like to go through the room and do all the baseboards. So I want to make sure I do them all, get all the baseboards done. Then I come back and I want to do all the electrical, just to make sure that I get everything done in every room. So um, I, I'm a checklist kind of guy. I've been using. Um, Excel for a long time, and then I realized I could just put it into a schedule. So I created a schedule, and I call it Room Checklist. And really all of this is the room number, the room name, and then what I call task complete. It doesn't say what the task is, it's just the task that I'm on now, and say it's baseboards. Um, am I, have I completed it? So what I'm doing is I'm bebopping around the, the model, and I, I, I'm in the laundry room, and I went and I've done the the uh, baseboards in this case, I click off in the properties dialog, uh, task complete. And then it highlights that in, uh, I want to say the spreadsheet, but the schedule, the laundry has been completed. I can go into the mud room, etc., or I can just, you know, check them off, check them off in the uh, schedule itself and the complete, and you notice that it's highlighting yellow is good because yellow means that that room is done. <clears throat> also, if, if Steve's working on the project with me, he can be checking things off, and then I know that that, that item has been completed. Um, so that's a good thing. And then the thing of it is to clear it. Um, we click on the sorting and grouping, and you know this. You uncheck everything and say do not itemize. It compresses the checklist into just one line. We check and uncheck, and now everything's unchecked. So we uh, come back and we go sort by number and itemize everything. And our checklist has now been cleared. So it, it was something that worked really well for me, and I thought I'd share it. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Jim. Uh, that was an awesome tip. Uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I thought it was pretty cool. It was unique and something different. Um, so thanks for sending it in, Jim. And uh, uh, you're going to get a free T-shirt, Jim. So uh, shoot, shoot me an email uh, with your information. Uh, I mean, I have most of your information, but shoot me an email and remind me, and I'll, I'll send you out a nice uh, free T-shirt uh, from BIM After Dark.